Hello, my name is Carter with First Updates Now. Today, I am with David Paxton and Reese with the Techno Trojans. They have a beautiful robot, very sleek robot, lots of hidden features. Let's get right to it and behind the box. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Paxton, can we look through the pixel manipulation mechanisms on this robot? Yes, we can. The pixels, we can pick them up through here. They are made out of TPU, they're super flexible, they're 3D printed, and it directs the pixels into the intake right here. And the wheels spin and put the pixels into here. And they, this moves up and this flips out and these servos move so that the pixels can drop onto the backdrop to score pixels. Awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about the, all the 3D printed parts? I know you mentioned uh, TPU back there for the flexible intake wheels, anything like that. So we have these hubcaps right here so that when we hit the wall, the, there's C-clips right here. They, we call them C-clips because they look like a C. And they hold the black wheels on so that we can move side to side. And this basically just protects it so that they don't pop off when we hit the wall. Uh, we have these wheel covers so that we don't drive over the pixel and disorient the robot from picking up the pixels. Uh, we have these uh, 3D printed fingers on the front of our robot to direct the pixels into the intake right here. And they're made out of TPU, they're super flexible, and they spin on servos. Awesome, nice use of 3D printing there. Reese, can we talk a little bit about your climbing mechanism and then your drone launching mechanism as well? For our, for us climbing, we go up, this went, this flips up, we will hang on our, on the trusk. Once we're hanging, we will have this flipped up and it'll be set up our, Rubber band will be pulled back with the trigger right here, and then we will click a but the button, and it will launch forward, and it usually will land in drum in uh, landing spot one or sometimes two. Awesome. Awesome, and another cool feature I uh, would like to note about the robot is that they launch the uh, drone after they already climbed. Is that correct? Yes. All right, and then can we get a little bit into the software side of things? What kind of sensors do you use? Over here, I see a couple. I see a camera up in the front there. Tell me a little bit about that. So there's a lot of sensors on the robot. First of all, we have this color sensor here, which can detect the alliance mark we've put down, so we know what alliance we're on without even having to choose the correct autonomous mode. Uh, another important sensor we have is the Husky lens, which is an AI camera. It has object recognition, is able to read April tags. Then we also have, on the bottom of the robot, we have touch sensors that can detect when the intake has taken in two pixels. And once they've detected two pixels, the, intake, the fingers on the intake actually reverse, preventing us from taking in three on accident. All right, and I see odometry here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Do you use that only during the autonomous mode? Do you use that during teleop as well? Tell me a little bit about that. So, the odometry is really useful because we use it in autonomous mode and it basically allows our robot to go wherever we want it and even if it crashes into something, it will still auto-correct itself to always go the correct way. Awesome, we have a beautiful robot here with the Techno Trojans at the Michigan State Championship. I hope you guys have a great run this weekend and thank you, this is Carter signing out with First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
keep the conversation going, and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.